What is up everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming. Hope everyone is having a good day. Doing the next partner in our partner guide. Th another three star partner. The Bone Fist. He's a he's a basically a big brawler. Got some bone spikes. Wanted to show off some of the finer side finer side of Bone Fist. Kinda hard to find some positives. But we'll get right into it. Blue, if you look at his regular stats, the hit point starts off at about 2,000, attack 95, defense around 100, so those are all, nothing really, st you know, nothing stands out at me with, with that. Usually if there's a big separation between attack and defense, you can tell what kind of partner he is. Uh, it says he's a def defense partner with plenty of hit points, health points, but we'll, we'll see. First skill, uppercut punch, I believe all three have the uppercut punch. It's an attack one person in the other party, 50% chance to taunt. And if you don't know already, taunt means that as soon as he attacks the other person, if he gets the taunt off and it's effective, then the uh, opposing uh, team member will have to attack him on the next turn. So he'll change whoever the opposing team is attacking. So that's pretty useful. Second skill, only two skills at, at when he first starts out. It's heavy punch. And heavy punch is based on his max health hit points. So that can go up a lot if you get his hit points up pretty high. So moving on to the 6 star, Third Awakening, he gets all the way up to 7,000 hit points, and these are all the basics, you know, you, they, these numbers go way up, you, even the basic numbers go up with the war patterns, and with uh, all the, the artifacts and everything else. Uh, attacks at 278, uh, defense 318, so uh, well, again, this is kind of average, uh, even for the 6 star stats, for, for a 3 star. You'll see your four and five stars get up a lot higher than that, and some of your three stars will get up a lot higher than that too. Uh, he is a he does give the leader skill of uh, defense thirty percent to the blue partners only to the wise, and morale is, is an inspire. So he'll inspire his own team's shaman, and that is if he survives the battle in the partner attacks. And remember, when you're doing a player versus player attack, it is a partner versus partner first. And then the results of the partner war gives bonuses to the actual armies. And those those bonuses, those benefits don't pass on to the next fight if you're wondering. And at Third Awakening, the Blue Bone Fist gets a passive skill called Will of the Warrior. It reduces all damage received by 25%. So all damage received, 25% off. Green is, the, is different than the other two. We'll start off with his leader skill. Sa same, it's... Defense 30%. That's to the wild only, to the green partners only. He's got the restrain leader uh, legion skill, and that is if he su if survives the battle, the enemy warriors will be reduced by 30. <coughs> so restrain is for the enemy, and you know one of the things I don't like about the restrain restraining the enemy is you don't always know what they're going to send. So you could have Bone Fist in there, and he's restraining the enemy warriors, but they don't even send warriors, so it's kind of a risky thing. First skill, same as the others, uh, is the uppercut punch, and it's the same same stats. He, he does a one versus one attack with a 50% chance to taunt the enemy for one round. Then the battle cry, it, it increases his attack for two rounds. It can also dispe uh, dispel two debuffs for each team member. So he increases his attack and then also dispels up to two debuffs for, the, for his own team. That's pretty strong. Going on to the third awakening. First, the basic stats. Hit health points. Hit points go up to six thousand twenty-two. Attack and defense. Defense is, is up pretty high for a three-star four four hundred fifty-one. And attacks at one ninety-nine. And once Bone Fist Green is to the third awakening, he gets the new skill, the pressure bomb. This looks awfully similar to the Green Dagger's uh, attack, his skill. Uh, the pressure bomb attacks all energy, all enemies, and reduces the action bar by 30%. So that kind of slows him down. And then red. I, th I think red might be the best one. I know that green, green starts off the worst, and then it gets a lot better once it gets to the third awakening. Let's see about red. He starts off with a, the leader skill, gives defense 30% to any red partner. Legion skill, he inspires his own team's morale, the Beastmasters, by 30. 
And then his skills, first skills like the other two is the uppercut punch. That's an attack one player. Gives that 50% chance to taunt the enemy for one round. And heavy punch, also the same. And that means that their damage, or same as, um, same as blue, uh, attacks the enemy with a heavy punch. That's another one-on-one -on -one attack. And the damage is based on a certain percentage of, it says its max hit, hit point. So that's based on their health points. No, I'm sorry. See, that's confusing. But it says up here, to help us out, those of us that get confused easily, <laughs> that it deals damage based on his own max HP. Instead of it's down here. It's, it's no good. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Going to the six star. Third Awakening. Health goes all the way up to 7,000. Attack is the highest out of all of them, 324. Defense, 265. Still listed as a defense partner. Gets the Dragon Punch. Attacks three times. Each attack has a 15% chance to stun the enemy for one round. Deals higher damage with a higher max health point. Trying to make the adjustment to health point instead of my old hit point days. So that that can be it. Now you do you will see the third awakened bone fist in ranked matches. They are they are pretty tough. Also, you also see them at the very top stages of adventure, and those are like level forty four. So those are a little stronger than you can get it, but they're also pretty tough. So that there is a chance to to um, to improve these guys a lot further than their basic stats um, kind of reflect. War patterns for blue bone fist. All three of these I've got pretty much built the same way, although there are some variations. Because Blue, Blue Bone Fist, a little hard time with that, uh, does damage based on his max health points. You want to you want to get his health points up as high as possible. Remember, we always work with what he does best already. So I would suggest doing six hippo speed on the left hand, hit point health point on the helmet on the right hand. And you, you see you see a lot of big partners built like this. You see Blue Bo Nomad built like this. Um, a lot of people use all six Hippo on him, get his hit points way up to 24,000 on the bonus side. And then he um, it just keeps him alive longer, makes him more effective. Bone Fist is very similar to that. He, he, does, he has some pretty basic attacks. But one of his benefits is that he has high hit points and you can keep him alive for a long time. You just have to really pay attention to hit the sub stats on him. Moving on to green, we I have him at the same way with six hippo, speed in the left hand, hit point head in right hand. Even though he does do a debuff, but the debuff is already pretty much set in stone, so I don't see how uh, like Corsac or uh, not not Corsac, how like Owl who, who can help raise resistance, how that would even help out much because he's already got a set limit. He can do he'll debuff up to two of. Um, He'll debuff twice of all the partners on the second skill. So I don't really see how, how you can improve on that with his war patterns. How, what you can improve on is his other skills by getting his hit points up as high as possible. Um, again, he's got high health already. So by making sure you get the health point percentage on the helmet right hand. And then look at the sub stats on the, on the bottom three. The bottom three have already set in stone. They're already plus, plus attack, plus defense, plus hit point. So just make sure that they have hit point percentage in those p patterns as well. And as we get into red, red is built the same way, same same strength as the other two. But what I haven't really got into on any of them until now is that there is an option that I've actually seen quite a few times, and that's instead of using six hippo, you can use the cat war pattern. Uh, Cat's always a, a good. It's always a good alternative. I, I there's most partners. There's only a few that I can think of. Like Green Nomad is one that Cat wouldn't benefit. So most of your partners could you could use Cat because the more the faster your partners are, the more attacks they get in, the better they defend uh, everything usually. So you can also go with Cat in Whale, and you'll lower his actual max health point, but you will gain if you use Whale, you'll gain eight percent for everyone else in the team. And then you'll, he'll also be faster, so he'll be getting the attacks, the reps in a little faster too. So I, I think that uh, Cat and Whale or Cat and Hippo could also be helpful with it as well. So, hope you enjoyed the video. 
I know that I'm not a huge help with bone fist because I haven't really used it myself but I did do a couple hours of research hopefully it helps somebody up next like at the end of every one of our partner guides we have Zirkin the blonde with your daily dose of drama <laughs> so I get into that so it's pretty cool once again I'd like to thank everybody till next time it's been easy take care everybody